Now that's a lot of damage. Hello, Glenn here with Euroshield. In this video, I wanted to give homeowners some insight as to what type of roof is best for hail. To quickly give you some background on just how damaging hail is, there are over 5,000 hailstorms that hit North America each year, causing over $10 billion in damages to around 11 million properties. That's the same number of homes in the entirety of Canada. And according to the Institute for Business and Home Safety, this equals one in every 35 North American homes that suffer roof damage from hail each year. One in 35. Now to put that into perspective, let's think of it like roulette. Basically, you take your home and you place it on a number. You spin the ball and it lands on your number. But in this case, you don't win big, you lose big, because that means a major hailstorm hits your house, taking out your roof. Of course, not every hailstorm that hits is catastrophic. But studies have shown that hail of just one inch in diameter, about the size of a quarter, is considered severe and will cause latent damage to your roof that can lead to leaks and other problems down the road. Come with me and, and let me let me zoom in on some hail hits. If you look right here, you know there's a circular black impact on the on the shingle here, and it you know it broke the broke the matting. You know this will eventually turn into a, a hole in your roofing system. Hidden hail damage, unseen hail damage. There's an epidemic of unseen hail damage going on across the country. Now getting back to my example with roulette, you place your house on the number and you spin the ball four times. That would represent about one year passing. So if the ball didn't land on your number, breathe a sigh of relief. Whew. But guess what? You have to do that another four spins next year, and the year after that, and the year after that, and so on. One eternity later. Of course, if you have the dubious honor of living in an area known as Hail Alley, which gets the most hailstorms and the largest hailstorms in North America, then you would average seven to nine hail events per year in your region which would be about eight spins on a roulette example per year or per hail season. And at least two of those events would be classified as destructive or worse with hail over 1.75 inches in diameter, about the size of a golf ball, smashing windows, denting cars, and destroying the majority of class four impact rated roofing. So how would you feel if you had to put your house on this board and go through eight spins every year? Oh, hell no! The stories we've heard range from one homeowner owning the roof for just over 24 hours before it was destroyed by hail, to other homeowners who have their roofs replaced two times within six months of each other. I had a customer that was going on their third roof. We had done two of them, and we had done those two within about actually six months of each other. And going into that third roof, I really felt that this is insane, putting the same roof on and expecting a different result. It left a bad taste in my mouth. So that really drove me to find a product that answered the issue that was truly hail proof and not just impact resistant. And uh, that's how I found Euroshield. Hail and the damage it can cause is not new to North America. This has been an ongoing concern for more than the last 20 years. And it's even worse because we have an area known as Hail Alley where damaging hail is simply a way of life. Massive chunks of ice fall from the sky, causing widespread damage to homes, vehicles and crops. It seems like not a single year passes when southern and central Alberta aren't heavily impacted by hail. In fact, three out of the top ten costliest weather disasters in Canada are due to hailstorms in the Calgary area. This is life in Hail Alley. The region is known as Hail Alley due to the fact that the greatest frequency of hailstorms in Canada occur between Calgary and Red Deer. Now, I'm getting a little off topic here. What I wanted to cover today was the Class 4 UL 2218 impact testing on shingles and how most people have come to realize that within the Class 4 impact rating, there is a huge difference in impact resistant performance. I always call it massive. Sometimes they say huge. So let's get right into that. I've done some digging around to find several studies that specifically took Class 4 UL 2218 products and tested them for their impact resistance. 
For those of you that don't know, the Class 4 UL2218 impact testing involves dropping steel balls from varying heights and sizes up to 2 inches in diameter and then inspecting the damage for cracks, ruptures and tears. Now I'm not going to go into great detail about the testing, but what I'm going to show you is what these studies have found about the majority of Class 4 impact rated products on the market today. So the first study I'm going to reference was done by the Insurance Institute for Business and Home Safety who linked their studies to the major hailstorm that hit Calgary in June of 2020, known as the fourth costliest disaster in Canadian history, totaling around $1.4 billion in damages, basically saying that North Americans are vulnerable to hail and it's time we did something about it. A big takeaway from this presentation was that the majority of roof coverings on homes in North America were asphalt and that these materials just aren't designed to resist hail. The roof is always the biggest building component with damage claims made, often accounting for upwards of 90% of residential structural claims. In the example of the Calgary hailstorm, over $800 million of the damages were attributed to roofs. $800 million. I don't know about you, but to me, that's a lot of money. In fact, if you stacked it vertically in $100 bills, it would be about the same height as the world's tallest building the Burj Khalifa is about 0.8 kilometers high. There's also another study I'd like to reference called the Testing of Impact Resistant Asphalt Shingles by a group of engineers done in May of 2020. They took five well-known Class 4 UL2218 rated shingles, two of which were thick, high-profile designs, two were standard laminated with reinforced backing, one was just standard laminated design without reinforced backing. The backing is designed to increase tensile strength and improve impact resistance. What they found was three of the products did not pass the standard UL2218 test and the two products that did showed fracturing of the reinforced backing upon desaturation analysis. The desaturation process is explained here by Hague Research and Testing Company. One of the tests we perform here at Hague Research Testing is a desaturation procedure. That's where we take a bituminous membrane, we investigate the sample looking for issues such as potential hail damage, examining top, examining bottom, and then we'll take the sample and put it into a vapor degreaser, and after a few hours of that process, uh, we will have eliminated all of the asphalt, allowing us to extract the reinforcements and examine the reinforcements to actually see if there are impact caused fractures and uh, features consistent with damage from hail. Now the desaturation testing is not part of the UL2218 class 4 impact test, but what it does show is how bruising of asphalt shingles from hail damage is often more than just cosmetic and can lead to leaks and premature wearing out of shingles, but also how the presence of the reinforced backing gives these shingles artificially high impact ratings because the shingle damage is hidden by the reinforced backing layer. And the real world performance of these shingles versus hail tends to show that they don't live up to their hype. Just listen to what industry expert Dmitry Lipinski has to say about class 4 impact rated shingles. I firmly believe that class 4 impact resistant rating is the most misleading rating in the roofing industry these days. And some class 4 asphalt shingles, I mean, they're so bad, you don't see the difference between the regular ones. You're like, really? Like, what's the difference? You don't see it. If you have two inch hail, it's still gonna get destroyed. And for that reason, nobody gives you warranty. They just say it's better, but it's not hail proof. When, if you're the homeowner and you buy a shingle, and it's sold to you on a promise. Manufacturer comes to you and say, you live in a hail market, please, please install class four. You install class four, next year you have a hail and you have to do it again. Why? Because it was class four, but class four doesn't protect you from hail. It's just slightly better and it sells on the fact that it's hail proof, but it's not hail proof. Okay, that's some pretty compelling evidence. But let's take a quick look at the study of relative impact resistance of asphalt shingles conducted by the Insurance Institute for Business and Home Safety I referenced earlier in the video. The scope of their study was once again to evaluate the performance of class 4 impact rated shingles relative to the UL2218 testing procedures using steel balls of varying diameters dropped from a variety of heights where any evidence of opening, tearing, fracturing, rupturing on the back of the shingle would denote a failure while crushed or dislodged granules, denting or visible openings on the top surface, are considered passing. So what was their biggest observation? 
They found that none of the products tested passed more than class two impacts without at least one double impact location failing the UL2218 performance criteria. A class two impact is a one and a half inch steel ball dropped from a height of 15 feet imparting approximately 10 joules of kinetic energy. One and a half inches is about the size of a ping pong ball and the hail that size reached a terminal velocity of about 61 miles an hour again imparting about 10 joules of kinetic energy. This impact chart here will show you kind of the breakdown of kinetic energies. So basically if one of these class 4 impact rated shingles gets hit twice in the same spot it's going to crack, rupture or tear and potentially lead to leaking and wearing out prematurely. So if you remember from the roulette example the chances of your roof getting hit twice with hail are pretty high. High enough that if casinos in Vegas offer those kind of odds the whole city would go bankrupt. I declare bankruptcy! I'm getting a little off track here again so getting back to the study. They found that with double impacts so the class 4 shingles failed but what did they find with the single impacts? They found that the class 4 shingles passed on average 29% of the time with no visible tears or cracks, passed with a surface tear or crack 16% of the time and failed a whopping 55% of the time with failure being a visible tear or crack on the bottom side of the shingle as well as potentially on the top. And if you recall from the first study we talked about only two of the five shingles tested passed the class 4 test and upon desaturation it was found that even those shingles were ruptured with cracks and tears that were hidden by the reinforcements. I know what you're thinking. Whoop de doo What does it all mean Basil? What it means is that most of North America has a problem. A hail problem. And from real life scenarios and further testing we can see that the current lineup of class 4 impact rated shingles aren't performing at the level we need them to be. The conclusions from these tests show that as shingles age, hail resistance substantially diminishes. Shingles that were only 10 years old were easily damaged by 1 inch hailstones. UL2218 rated shingles may have varying degrees of hail impact performances. Testing and classification may, in some cases, provide a false sense of hail resistance performance. The presence of the reinforced backing gives the shingles artificially high impact ratings because the shingle damage is hidden by the backing layer. There are basically two types of damage to be considered, latent damage and severe damage. Severe damage will typically need to be replaced immediately, but latent damage, like the damage shown by the desaturation of these shingles, is hidden and is typically not replaced, leading to accelerated, de accelerated deterioration of the shingles, a decrease in hail impact resistance, a decrease in water shedding capabilities, and an increase in the likelihood of damage to other areas and materials of the roofing envelope and your home. The authors of these studies frequently perform hail damage evaluations and roofing material examinations in order to fully develop an informed opinion on the performance capabilities of impact resistant shingles. They have found that both the frequency of hailstorms and the size of hailstones show an upward trend with time that is routinely exposing our vulnerability to hail and that we do not build enough with resistance to this hazard in mind. Of course, there is one roofing system that is designed to withstand hail, and that's Euroshield. It's been tested by us, by our competitors, and by Mother Nature, and through all of it has proven to be the only roof that is truly hail-proof. To learn more, go to our website, www.euroshieldroofing.com, or call 403-215-3333. Thanks for watching.